Welcome back. This is going to be a quick tutorial on replacing the M92 chip on a Nintendo Switch motherboard. Let's jump right to it. Under the microscope, we have it already positioned. We're going to start heating at 350 degrees, about a quarter of an inch underneath the board. While it starts heating, we're going to go ahead and flux it up. Flux just makes everything better. I love watching it bubble. Okay, all we need to do is basically watch until that chip is ready to lift up. You'll know it's ready to lift up when you see all of the solder around the chip fully molten. Look at that, it comes off. Now getting the chip back on, say if this was a new chip, it doesn't matter. I want to put the same one on. And let's see how I misplaced it. Dang. That's the worst part about these, isn't it? Is uh, getting them aligned. Well, when you're heating from underneath, you're not blowing everything around with uh, high airspeed. And I can just kind of tap it around until it finds this sweet spot. Aha. Let's get that capacitor back. See, when you're not blowing around with the hot air gun, surface tension does all the work for you. See, I tap this chip and surface tension pulls it back perfectly aligned. Now, if you have a steady hand, you can push on the chip right now. Uh, I'd say having a steady hand is somewhat necessary for doing micro soldering, but not everyone has surgeon hands, and I don't have surgeon hands. So I remove the heat, and then I press down on the chip, and then I put the heat back underneath it, and wait for that solder to reliquify. And just keep a little bit of downward pressure. All right, everything looks molten. Then I'm gonna remove the heat while pressing down on it. And everything hardened up. And at this moment, if you have any uh, bridges or joints that don't have enough solder, something like that, that's when you wanna come in with the micro pen and touch up those joints all over. Uh, this turned out looking pretty good. But why don't I just demonstrate anyway what I would do. Again, you know, I could put heat back under there. The joints are going to sweep a lot better if they're hot, right? So I'm just going to move that and then I can sweep. See that? Flux does, is an important part of the sweep. And so if you have uh, bridges or large solder blobs or a joint without enough solder on it, then you want to sweep it while the board's hot and then you can even everything out. Anyway, this job is done. All I gotta do is clean it up with some IPA, but that was not the point of the video. The point of the video was to show you how easy it can be to replace an M92. Takes a couple minutes. Surface tension does all the work when you heat from underneath. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and drop a comment. I appreciate it. That's all I'm asking for you. Thank you for watching.